What's up my friends, welcome back. Let's jump directly into this topic. As you all seen in my past videos, I built a few drones this last year. This was my first 3D printed body for a drone and it's quite awful since it's very heavy and also has elastic arms. So all the vibration from the motors will affect the flight. I couldn't manage to fly this drone and the same happened with this body. This is made with aluminum tubes and 3D printed parts. Finally, I designed this drone. This is a 250 drone and is based on Arduino. I have two versions for this one. The first one is made with a multi-wheel platform and the second version is based on my own code, which doesn't work quite well yet. I'm even working on this mini drone with brushed DC motors and I even designed a PCB for this drone. And I hope that this project will turn out great. The full video for this project will be uploaded to my YouTube channel soon, so stay tuned for that. We even had six months of university project testing and building a drone. So I know how PID works, the components that you need and everything you have to know about drones in order to build one. We even learned how the propeller turbulence will affect the lift up from the ground. But despite all that, I don't know how to fly a drone yet. The reality is that I know how to build a drone, but I'm not a good pilot. It's more, I'm not a pilot at all. And that's because I always test drones in cages or inside my workshop. Besides, here in Barcelona, it's very difficult to find a place where you could legally fly a drone, because drones are quite dangerous. You always have to go far away from the city center. So that's why I'm not a good drone pilot, but that it's about to change. Let me just clean my workshop table and explain you what I want to do. Okay guys, so I want to become a decent drone pilot and share my experience with you at the same time. Also teaching you something about drones on the way, because it's a very interesting topic since there are a lot of electronics involved into these machines. So I will make a few videos start to finish about my experience and how I started my FPV drones flying. Starting with gear that you need for a decent FPV flight. Then we will see how to prepare our drone and we will have our first flight. Also have in mind that I'm a beginner of FPV drones. So this should be the experience of a guy that never used FPV racing drones. So let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. In this part of this video series, we will talk about the gear that you need to start your first FPV drone pilot practice. FPV or first person view refers to the fact that you will be able to see in first person what the drone is seeing using a pair of FPV goggles. So you will definitely need a pair of FPV goggles. But let's start with the drone. There are a lot of shapes and sizes that you could choose. You could build one piece by piece buying the motors, the flight controller and the camera or you could buy one that is already mounted, which is what I did for this video. FPV drones are small, fast and very powerful. Its size is usually given by the distance between two motors in diagonal. We have the X square shape like this one here or the rectangular one like this one, where one side is longer than the other. I've watched a lot of reviews on YouTube of a bunch of drones and I think I found the perfect one for me. This is the Fury B Dark Max FPV Racing Drone. So what makes this drone so awesome? Well, it has everything mounted in place. We have four Dui West brushless motors mounted on this carbon fiber frame. The four ESCs are already soldered in place down here and as you can see all the wires are well covered. We have the flight controller and the radio receiver already mounted in place on the board. Also we have the transmitter for the FPV camera and the camera itself here with adjustable angle. So basically this drone is ready to fly. As you can see here it also has a space for a GoPro at 30 degrees which is a nice thing to have. You can easily take out the top frame if you want to add something to the main board. I don't have a compatible radio transmitter for this receiver. But that's not a problem, I will just connect the S-Bus from my own receiver since this drone is compatible with S-Bus communication. And that takes us to the next part that we need, a radio transmitter and a radio receiver. I will use the Radiolink 8010 transmitter with the R12DS receiver. This receiver has an S-Bus communication, so you basically just connect those wires to the flight controller and you're good to go. We will also need a LiPo battery to power the drone. And here comes the next awesome part about this drone. It can handle up to 6S batteries, which is crazy. The amount of power that this drone could deliver is amazing. I've already seen some videos about this drone and I was amazed how this drone flies. For now I just have 4S batteries, but I already ordered 5S and 6S batteries for future tests. Now for the final component, we will need some FPV goggles. I've started with these cheap ones. These are the LS800D and only cost $50. They have a built-in video recording with an SD card and also uses two antennas. 
the mushroom type and the directional type and that will increase the radio connection a lot. It's rechargeable with a simple USB cable and you're good to go. I think this is the best example to start as a beginner since I don't want to spend too much money yet. All the parts that I've selected are quite low price and you have the links for all the parts in the description below. I really recommend you this Fury B Dark Max drones since it's quite a high rated drone for now and also stay tuned for future videos where I'll test this drone outside. So guys as a recap you will need a race drone, small and light. In this case the frame is made out of carbon fiber which makes this drone very strong and light. The drone should have good motors and ESCs, a flight controller, a radio receiver, a video transmitter with an FPV camera and a good antenna. In my case I will use the triple blade propellers included in the drone kit. Next we will need the LiPo battery, the radio transmitter and the FPV goggles. And now we should be ready to fly our drone, but first we will need to configure the flight controller of the drone. You have a list for all the components one by one below, with links and prices for each component. In the next video of this series I will start with a small review on this drone and also how to configure the flight controller of this drone using an online platform. We will see how to connect the radio receiver with an SBUS communication, how to set up the data sent from the transmitter in order to control the drone, how to connect the LiPo battery and establish the video communication with the FPV goggles and then we will be ready to go outside. In the next video I will also try to explain a little bit how the SBUS communication works and also I will try to talk about the gain of the FPV antenna and also a bit of PID so stay tuned for that. So guys if you would like to help my projects I've got a Patreon campaign the link is down below I would really really appreciate that guys and also check the links for all the components in this video down below if you want to buy one and also some coupons for you but that will also have my workshop at the same time. I hope that you enjoyed this first video of the series. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. Remember, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page. Thanks again and see you later guys.